Today's reading shed light on two different personalities, the wisdom of Solomon and the critical attitude of the scribes and the Pharisees toward our Lord. King Solomon stands before the altar in the presence of the entire community in an attitude, in a, in a gesture of faithfulness to God where he leads Israel in prayer. Meanwhile, the scribes and the Pharisees cling to their natural hygienic practices, this time inquiring of as to why our Lord's disciples do not observe the tradition of the elders. The scribes and the Pharisees are all about superficiality, about showing off. It's not a good way to go through life. Constantly quoting the law to the one who is the authentic interpreter of the divine law, blaming him for all his marvelous deeds. For them, it's all about the outside of the cup. And the inside of the cup is filled with greed, jealousy, and self-indulgence. They sacrifice small things, almost nothing, while our Lord Jesus sacrifices everything. He offers his life as a sacrificial victim, the spotless victim for our sins, in order to restore men to friendship with God. Take a second look at Solomon's gesture in the first reading. He pours out his heart before God in prayer and asks God to wash over the temple, to listen to the prayers he and his community will offer in it. Solomon's gesture is a wonderful example of how we should approach God when we turn to him in prayer, either for ourselves or our families or for all those who have entrusted their petitions to our care. My friends, some people, God seeks out such people who worship him in spirit and in truth. This is the way we should approach God. This is the only way we should approach God. God, without you, I falter. Have pity on me, a sinner. We approach God always aware of our unworthiness, of our unsinfulness. Today, people around the world still speak of and pray for the wisdom of Solomon recalling his faithfulness to God. Let us pray every day for the grace to imitate the wisdom of Solomon in order to better our relationship with God, in order to strengthen our relationship with Almighty God. At the end of the day, relationships are the ways in which God lives in our lives. Let us pray as Solomon does, for an understanding of heart as we struggle daily to incline our hearts to his holy will.